What's good, creative fam? Brandon Washington here. And you guys know here on this channel, I like to talk to you guys about ways of making more money, saving more money, and ultimately being a better creator. Well, in today's video, that's exactly what we're gonna be touching on, all centered around the main topic of fixing your audio. See, when it comes to audio, not too long ago, I did a video talking about the ways that we actually go about capturing audio when we're doing our video production sets. But one thing that I didn't talk about was how we actually manage the post-production process. See, just like with shooting video, when it comes to capturing audio, the capturing is just one part of it. There is editing that needs to go into it, and I'm gonna be 100% open with you guys and let you know that audio is not one of my strongest areas. And so I lean in very heavy with a lot of plugins in order to make sure that my audio sounds good and professional. And I'm very excited with today's integration AccuSonos. Now with AccuSonos, they have a plug-in system that's literally as simple as drag and drop when it comes to fixing your audio. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the system itself, but also showing you guys how I've used it in the past in order to make sure that I get really clear, clean and crisp audio, even when I'm capturing it in situations that aren't really the best. Now, before we jump into the software, I do wanna preference this video by saying, yes, I am gonna be showing you this in Final Cut Pro 10, but what I'm actually gonna be showing you doesn't just work in Final Cut Pro 10. AccuSonos recently just announced their brand new bundle, Era 6, and all of these plugins are not only compatible with Final Cut Pro 10, but they're also compatible in tons of other softwares, including Premiere, After Effects, and even some audio-specific softwares as well. So definitely make sure you check out the links in the description so you can get all the details. So it doesn't matter what editing platform you're using, I'm pretty sure this will work for you. But let's hop into the computer and let me show you exactly how this software works. All right, so let me quickly just break down kind of what's happening here on the screen so that way you guys can have a better idea as I move throughout this tutorial. So for one, down here at the bottom, I have my timeline, and then over to the right is where I actually have my effects window, and currently I am already inside of the AccuSonos effects panel, which as you guys can see, I not only have the Era 6 plugins, but I also have the last iteration, the Era 5 plugins as well. And I've already made the adjustments onto this clip, this secondary clip here, but we're actually gonna go ahead and edit this first clip together. Now, when you hear this clip, you'll quickly realize that there were a couple audio issues. For one, the audio is very low. Uh, number two, we're dealing with quite a bit of echo in the room, and a lot of that was just kind of the situation that we were in. So there's this really nasty echo taking place. And then obviously the third is I would like to tweak her voice slightly because the echo is playing a little bit into it. And honestly, I think we can make it sound a whole lot better. Hey guys, my name's Gabby Wynn. I am the owner of AppDat Print Co. We are a screen printing shop and AppDat stands for awesome people doing awesome things. So the first thing that you can actually do inside of Era 6 is with all these different plugins, one of my favorite ones is to use the Audio Cleanup Assistant. And so right here I have this Era 6 Audio Cleanup Assistant. I'll literally drag and drop that guy onto my clip. And then what you'll notice is if I go into the Audio tab, right here I have this little icon that allows me to go into my editor. And this opens up our audio cleanup assistant. Now, there's a lot that you can do here. For one, you'll notice that there are four empty slots and you can pretty much put whatever one of the era assistants in here and it will start to use that. For example, if I click on this one, you'll see that I have a list of all the different plugins. So I have the noise remover, I have the voice auto EQ, uh, down here, one that I know we're gonna be using, the reverb remover, that helps a lot with some of that echoing sound. And I can literally place four of these in here and have them all working. Actually, I can scroll over and actually get to five of these in here. One thing is that I can actually let this listen to the clip for me and analyze the clip to tell me what needs to be done. This is really huge because if you're someone who doesn't necessarily know what's wrong with your clip, but you're hearing it and you know that there's a problem, you can absolutely allow the assistant to do the work for you and let the computer do that extra work. And earlier I mentioned this can save 
you money. And this is one of those areas where you can save money. Instead of having to hire this out or send this footage off to someone, you can start off by allowing the software to do a lot of the heavy lifting for you. If you still have problems, absolutely send it off to someone. But this system actually works and will help me fix audio that I didn't even realize I was having that many problems with. And so this is kind of just like a safe pass that you can do across all of your audio. So all I have to do is click the assistant button and then literally all you do is set your playhead at the very beginning and then you press play and you will allow it to start analyzing your clip. Now for this clip in particular, I actually decided that I knew exactly what I wanted to do for this edit. So I decided that I wanted to make sure that I got my voice leveler set up. I also got my reverb remover ready to go and then my voice auto EQ. Now, these are the plugins that I chose to run with this cleanup assistant, but you can absolutely pick whichever ones that you feel are necessary for your clip. For example, you might wanna add the declipper on there, or if your subject is talking about something that has a lot of S's in it, there is an entire de-esser, there's a plosive one, so if someone's talking and they're saying something that has a lot of P's in it and the microphone doesn't have some type of windsock on it, this is a great option as well. Well, and as you start looking through all these different options, you really can see that there's so many easy plugins that you can add directly into your audio and quickly fix that sound. So literally by just clicking a couple buttons and I can close out of this, we can now hear a massive difference between what we had before and what we had after. Hey guys, my name's Gabby Wynn. I am the owner of Aftat Print Co. We are a screen printing shop and AppDat stands for awesome people doing awesome things. Now, I know one question you guys might be thinking to yourself is, okay, Brandon, this is really cool. There are a lot of awesome little plugins, but like, is it really as simple as dragging and dropping? And honestly, it really is. Now, with any of these effects that you choose to add in, you can go in and dial in those settings even further. So for example, if I open this effect back up here, for example, with the reverb remover, maybe you're hearing it sound a little artificial or maybe it's not taking out enough of the reverb for you. All of these different parameters are editable. So for example, I can click on the reverb remover and I can scale that back a little bit, taking that processing down, or I can click on it and drag that reverb processing up much higher. And so as you can see, it's fairly simple and really easy in the way that you are able to fully have control over what your audio sounds like. And the best part is while you're making these adjustments, you can actually be playing back your audio simultaneously to make sure that it's sounding exactly the way that you're looking for. I think my favorite thing about having a plugin system like this and a tool like this overall is really the fact that this saves me so much time which ultimately allows me to make more money. So what do I mean by that? Well, every moment that you spend editing your video, whether that's audio or video effects, transitions, titles, graphics, whatever, all of that takes up time. And when your time is kind of being bought up by one particular project, it makes it harder to move on to the next project, which means you don't make as much money because you're still stuck working on the previous. Well, by having systems like this that are quick, click a button and get the job done situations, it really does put you in a place that allows you to work more efficiently, which ultimately means that, especially when you're working with clients and you're doing video projects for other people, you can get through them faster, you can make them sound great and more professional, but ultimately allows you to move on and make more money. Now, the AccuSonos Eero 6 bundle is a part of a monthly subscription, but be sure to stick around because I'm gonna show you guys how you can get a special offer on that bundle. The last little nugget that I wanna leave you guys with is that audio is crucial. I know you guys hear it all the time, but it really does make a big difference in how people experience your videos. Sometimes I think that audio is actually even more important than the video resolution and quality. So if you guys are sitting on the edge or you're on the fence and you're not really sure, should you invest in your audio? Should you, whether that's getting software or getting new microphones or you name it, trust me, investing in audio is 
never a bad decision, especially if you're currently just working with your internal microphone. So before we end this video, I wanna quickly show you guys kind of a before and after, showing you guys what the audio sounded like just coming through the camera itself, then showing you what that audio sound like going through a microphone, and then ultimately what that audio sound like going through this post-processing experience. Hey guys, my name is Gabby Wynn. I am the owner of Act at Print Co. We are a screen printing shop and Act at stands for awesome people doing awesome things. Hey guys, my name is Gabby Wynn. I am the owner of Act at Print Co. We are a screen printing shop and Act at stands for awesome people doing awesome things. Hey guys, my name is Gabby Wynn. I am the owner of Act at Print Co. We are a screen printing shop and Act at stands for awesome people doing awesome things. But there you have it guys, that is exactly how AccuSonus works. Now, if you wanna be able to take advantage of this software, they are actually offering you guys 14 days free right now if you check out the links down below in the description. So download it, test it out, try it, see if it works well for you. And ultimately, you can re-watch this video again if you wanna see how I personally use it. But start trying it out on your own projects. And trust me, you're going to love the outcomes that you get out of it. A huge thank you again to AccuSonos for sponsoring this video. And if you guys have any additional audio related questions or really any filmmaking related questions at all, definitely leave those down in the comments below. But thanks so much for checking out this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.